Hello and welcome back to my channel. So one of my more unusual hobbies is reimagining everyday objects. Like you see a shower cap, I see unlimited opportunity. You see a bobby pin, I see a future. So yes, this is actually what I do for fun and I'm gonna share with you today some new, unusual, surprising uses for everyday objects that you already have. So we're gonna get more bang for our buck, more uses out of things you already own. So let's get right into it. Your favorite lip balm also has some other uses. It's not just for the lips, ladies, okay? You can also use it on your cuticles, on your elbows, and on your dry heels. It contains a lot of those same oils and hydrating ingredients, and especially in these dry, colder months, probably have your lip balm with you in your purse already. So just use it on other areas if you need it. If you are doing something and you need a funnel, okay? Why can I never find a funnel when I need it? Probably because my kids are wearing them as hats and playing with them like a toy. So what you can use as a makeshift DIY funnel is just use aluminum foil. It will fit into any size, shape, container, and there you go. Now let's discuss shower caps. You can get these so dirt cheap, like a hundred pack, for $7 and they have other uses besides just making you look gorgeous in the shower. First, I've been using these for years. Whenever I travel, I put my shoes in here so they're not touching all my other thing in my luggage because the other super useful way I use this is in the kitchen to store leftover food. Like if you can't find the lid to your glass storage container or you're going to a potluck, just put this right on top and it seals itself and you don't have to mess with very finicky plastic wrap. Now I don't recommend reheating anything with the plastic on it. I don't like to heat plastic. So for reheating your food as a splatter guard, what you could use for that is coffee filter. Just put that on top of your food before you reheat it to prevent a big old splatter mess in your microwave. And while you have your coffee filters out, you can also use these to make a very easy DIY shoe deodorizer. So put a little bit of baking soda in there, some essential oils if you want, secure it with a rubber band, put that in any of your shoes, your workout shoes, the shoes that just have a little bit of an odor to them, just put that in there overnight and it will help deodorize them. Now let's talk empty pill bottles. This was a personal challenge because I'm a supplement girl and I always have the empty pill bottles. Like, can I do something with it? First, I have one in my car for loose spare change because you know, 10 out of 10 times I drive up to the parking meter, there is no change to be found. You can use them to store any of your small things, buttons, bobby pins, paper clips, and even like those tiny little earbuds. And if you're going to the pool or the beach, you can use an opaque one to put your valuables in. So people are less likely to take a pill bottle than a wallet. Now you may have noticed all of the empty pill bottles I showed are Ritual, and that is because they're my favorite supplement brand. They are very kindly sponsoring this portion of the video. And don't tune out, don't skip ahead because they have actually given me an insane deal. It's part of their Black Friday, Cyber Monday special, 40% off. So that is the biggest code they've ever given me. And I want to tell you about their new supplement that I started taking, the Symbiotic Plus. So this is a probiotic that has the probiotic, prebiotic, and postbiotic. Basically, it covers all of your bases for your gut health. And the reason I was interested in even taking a probiotic is because I recently switched over to more of a plant-based diet, meaning a lot of vegetables, a lot of beans, and your girl is bloated. Like I am very bloated all the time. I was trying to take digestive enzymes, nothing was working. And when I was looking into it, a good probiotic can help a lot with bloating. And not only that, 70% of our immune system lives in our gut. Our gut is kind of like our second brain in the body. And with cold and flu season coming up, I just want my immune system to be in top form. So I got this to try. And let me tell you, within like three to four days, my bloating, oh my God, it is like gone. And I was so insecure about this. And you know, if Ritual is gonna do a probiotic, they're gonna do it better. They're gonna do the research behind it. So they have in here the top two most clinically backed probiotic strains among others. They have the prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic. And they did a study to show that the probiotics actually survive the trip down into the gut. They do also have the delayed release capsules. And as with all of Ritual supplements, every single ingredient is traceable. If you've been wanting a good probiotic, try the Ritual Symbiotic or any of their other supplements for 40% off. Again, I have never seen them offer a code that big. Normally I get a 20% off code. So if you've been wanting to try anything, now is the time. Okay, now let's talk balls, tennis balls. If you have 
tennis balls lying around, you can use them to get off like little scuff marks on your walls, on your baseboard, and you can use them in the dryer as like a wool ball. They work the same and how they work is you put them in your dryer with your clothes and it helps to aerate the clothes. So it gets in between the clothes and helps them dry faster. So it makes your dryer more efficient in drying your clothes. And I've even seen physical therapists talk about using tennis balls. It's like a back massager. You can like really get in there and go up and down on the wall. You may look a little ridiculous, but your back is going to feel great. In a pinch, you could put the bobby pin in the little zipper hole and use it as a temporary makeshift zipper. You can also use this if you're trying to get something on or off a key ring. You know how that's impossible for whatever reason and I always ruin or break my nails. You can also just put a little bobby pin in there and it will open the key ring for you, make your life a little easier. If you're making tacos, like we do Taco Tuesday, maybe like once a month, you know, the taco shells, they're flipping, they're flopping, they're falling over. Like who designed those? You can use an upside down muffin tin to put the taco shells, especially like if you have kids and they have a hard time with this, so you could stuff your tacos to your heart's content. Hairspray, not just for the hair, ladies. You can also use this to help remove ink stains from clothing. So you may know that, maybe you don't, but it also, this is what like blew my mind. It can get pen, marker, crayon, off of walls. If you have kids, you know how often this happens and how difficult it is to remove. And we talk about how it's dark outside right now. It is 417 right now, right? I'm not okay. Oh, also with aluminum foil, I forgot to mention as we were talking about our DIY funnel, crumple your foil into a little ball, throw it in your dishwasher in the silverware area, run your dishwasher as normal, and that helps polish your silverware. Toothpaste, it's not just for cleaning your teeth. You can also use it to clean the soles of your shoes. It has the abrasives in it, the baking soda, and even the whitening ingredient that will help remove scuffs and stains from the base of your shoes. You can even take an old toothbrush. If you have any used empty water bottles lying around the house, you can very easily cut off the top and use the lid of that water bottle to seal your items in your pantry, like chocolate chip, coconut flakes, sugar, whatever it is, sprinkles, fold it over and then screw on your cap and you have a sealed bag that is easy to pour out the items as you need them. Dryer sheets are actually amazing for dusting because they put a very thin waxy film on your baseboards, on your mantles, and it helps prevent future dust from accumulating. Oh, and last but not least, let's discuss the French press, okay? A lot of us already have these in our homes. They're really cheap to get. They're like under $10 and you can use them for so many different things. So I use them to make my loose leaf tea. So you don't need like a special contraption for that. Just put your hot water, your loose leaf tea, let it steep, push it down. You have your tea. You also can use it to make froth milk, like really creamy frothy milk. If you wanna make an at home latte or cappuccino, put your milk of choice and start pumping it and it will be beautiful froth milk. And if you keep going, it will turn into whipped cream. And my new and favorite use for my French press is I use it to make my own at home nut milk. I love cashew milk, but it's very pricey. When you get it at the store, it has all of these additives to it, carrageenan, whatever. It's actually very easy. You can make any of your own nut milk. You put in water, cashews, a little honey, a little cinnamon, blend it up. And then instead of having to like strain it and use like a messy cheesecloth, it was such a pain when I did it that way. Put it in your French press and then just press it down and you have beautiful, creamy, delicious, fresh nut milk. And it's so much more affordable, so much better for you. Also, before you go, don't forget to use my link and discount code to get 40% off anything on Ritual's website. So if you've had your eye on trying their protein powder, their multivitamin, if you want a good probiotic, I also, the skincare supplement, I feel like I've been glowing. Try it for 40% off. That is the biggest discount code ever given me. And it's just for Black Friday through Cyber Monday. So take advantage of that. The link again is down in the description box. Thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.